And now that we have the ability to model our posts, let's move on to the appearance of our enlarged post widget. So again, we're going to have a header, post image, and a footer. So within the return of build, we're going to return a column. We can put all of this within a single column where main axis size is going to be main axis size dot min. And for the children list, we're going to get our widgets by returning the parts of our post from a number of functions. So first we'll have build post header, then build post image, and then build post footer. So we'll start with the header. And remember that in the header, we want to get the post owner's data. So we'll use a future builder to get their user data by ID. So we'll return a future builder where the future to resolve is going to come from users ref dot document and pass in owner ID dot get. And for the builder, we'll get context and snapshot. If we don't have any data, if not snapshot dot has data, we'll return a circular progress. We'll, again, we'll import progress. Otherwise, we want to get a few values. And first, we'll want to deserialize our user data. So we'll use the factory from document. Make sure to import our user model. We'll pass to it snapshot.data. We'll put the result in a user variable. And from this future builder, when we have our data, we'll return a list tile. This is first going to consist of, as the leading value, a circle avatar. where its background image will be, once again, using a cache network image provider. We'll get the image URL from user.image URL or photo URL. The background color will be colors.gray. And for the title of the list tile, we'll use a gesture detector. And the reason for this is that when, in the future, someone taps on a given user's username, we want to show their profile. So for right now, we'll make the child a text widget where that'll be set to their username from user.username. The style will be a text style where the color is colors.black and the font weight is font weight.bold. And then because the gesture detector has an on tap for right now, since we don't have the function we need, we'll just print showing profile. Then for the subtitle on our list tile, we use a text widget and pass in the location from the location variable. And then for trailing, we'll have a button that in the future will be used to delete a given post. So that will be an icon button where for it's on pressed, we'll just print deleting post. And then for its icon, using an icon constructor, that will be icons.more underscore vert. So now we have our post header. Moving on to our build post image. We'll create that function. And an alternative way to like our image, instead of tapping on the like button here, users can double tap on the image itself. So this is a feature that's common in many social media applications. So we're just going to return with a gesture detector. And that's what will wrap our image in. And we'll set on double tap to print the line liking post, where its child will be a stack. Alignment will be set to alignment.center. Children will include an image.network widget 
we'll pass in as the source media URL. And then finally, we'll create our post footer with build post footer. And this will return a column where its children will first consist of a row. Main axis alignment on it will be set to main axis alignment dot start to put everything at the beginning, at least our first row of buttons at the beginning of the row. Then for children, we use padding on top, so we'll set padding with edge insets only top set to 40. And actually, we'll set it on the left as well. We'll set it to 20.0. And then for our like button, we'll use a another gesture detector where its child will be an icon. And right now, we'll just set that to icons dot favorite or actually favorite border to indicate that it's not been liked size to 28.0 and color to colors dot pink and then for its on tap once again we'll just print in the return liking post after our like button we'll have another padding widget so we'll just copy the first one where here we'll set right to 20 to separate our like button from our comments button and then we'll have another gesture detector so we can copy that as well where for its on tap we'll want to show comments so for for the print line we'll just print showing comments then for its child we'll include the chat icon with the color of colors blue with the weight of 900 and also a size of 28. And then after this first row of buttons, we'll have another row. So after that closing row parenthesis, we'll have a row where children will consist of a container and it will have margin set only on the left set to 20 its child will be text widget this will be to display our like count so here we'll interpolate the value like count a space and then the text like so so many likes for its style we'll set its color to black and font weight to font weight dot bold. Then after this first row, we'll have another row. So we can copy that and paste it in underneath. Where we'll set cross axis alignment to cross axis alignment dot start. For children, we'll use a container where margin set to the same and here we're just going to interpolate username with nothing at the end and then the same text style and after that after this container we'll have right next to the username who made the post their description by using an expanded widget and for its child set text to description and with that we should have our completed post structure and now we'll save. We won't see anything just yet because we need to fetch all of our posts within our profile page. So right now let's head back to profile. 